COVID rules at the event last Friday, the Scottish Conservative said she'd undermined public health messages about wearing a face covering. Diplomats in Brussels say a post-Brexit deal between the UK and EU could be finalised within hours. Negotiators have been working frantically to reach a compromise to minimise trade disruption from the 1st of January, and the transition period will come to an end. In the rise from the Institute of Government says it's impossible to say if the two sides really have overcome the last differences between them. We know that there are things moving and they seem to be moving quite quickly. It's not clear yet whether there's a deal, but as soon as we know, it will mean that it will be published up online. And so Brexit analysts like myself, but also government independents will be also looking at it. But I would not want to put any money on whether there will be a deal by Christmas because Brexit is unprecedented. The England footballer Kieran Trippier has been banned from playing for 10 weeks for allegedly breaking betting rules. Former Spurs defender, who now plays for Atletico Madrid, has also been fined £70,000 by the Football Association. He denies any wrongdoing. Casey Dorman reports. Here in Trippier was charged by the FA in May over bets placed around the time of his £20 million move to Atletico Madrid from Tottenham in July 2019. The 30-year-old was accused of breaking the rule which states players cannot provide inside information to anyone who could use it for betting. Trippier's worldwide suspension means he will currently miss a total of 12 games for La Liga's leaders, including the first leg of their last 16 Champions League tie against Chelsea. However, he will be available for England's 2022 World Cup qualifiers in March. Twitter says it will wipe all the millions of followers from the official US presidential accounts before they're transferred to the Biden administration. Because I like you. Uh, 
The M1 at junction 15A, A47I westbound is closed between I and the A16 at Peterborough. And to the M11 northbound, it is open again between 10 and 11 Duxford uh, to the A10, but still one lane shut, so take care. M25 QE2 bridge clockwise over the bridge, a second breakdown between 31 and 1A, so one lane is shut. And the M25 anti clockwise, 10 to 9, they're still moving that debris. They have two lanes closed for quite a long time, they've still got two lane shuts through there. It's not causing a huge queue, which is the good news. Now, the A48 at Crick closed with the flooding between Crick and Penn Howe. M48 eastbound is blocked with the flooding between the M4 and Chepstow. Westbound is flooding as well, but you can use the westbound route. A38 Chudley southbound has reopened at Harkham Cross to Chudley, but there's still a lane close for recovery. Uh, just the latest if you're heading down to Dover to Frogsmoor to Eurotunnel. So the M20 uh, coastbound is what you have to use for either Eurotunnel or for the port of Dover. That's not changed. For any other traffic going through, uh, of course you've got the M20 coast line, you've got the contraflow between 8 and 9 to go through. But what they've just done in the last half an hour is close the London bound M20. Now the contraflow coast line is still in place, that lane, so you can still go coast bound, you can't get westbound uh, between 9 and 8 at the moment, so you've got traffic queuing. We're trying to find out what's happening, what they're going to do with the diversion, we just don't know yet and waiting for more information. And then finally, Irish ferries at Anglesey, still no passenger just service between Hollyhead and Dublin and Pembroke and Rosslare. Back with another one for you in half an hour. Bobby, thank you very much. Let's play this then. New to two. Time for this, we all need a little bit of calm and okay, she's with a real groove. Feel my heartbeat. It's the same old feeling coming over me. Tell me what you want and I'll give it to you. Feel my heartbeat. 